What happens to your application when Optimizely full stack goes down? Your application will stay up, but feature flags and experiments default to turning off. So it's a best practice to save a fallback data file and defensively code smart defaults for feature variables. Let's dive in by first recalling how Optimizely works. Optimizely provides an application to save and edit feature flags and experiments. That feature flag and experiment data is uploaded to a global CDN in a condensed JSON data file format. So when your application starts up and initializes the Optimizely SDK, the JSON data file is loaded in memory and the Optimizely SDK can make in-memory decisions about feature flags and experiments without making additional network requests to Optimizely. When thinking about what happens to your application when Optimizely goes down, it's most important to think about the critical connection point between your application and Optimizely's CDN. In the rare hypothetical that Optimizely's CDN were to go down, the SDK would not be able to load any data on your feature flags or experiments, but it would not prevent your application from running. Instead, when you get to the point of needing to evaluate a feature flag or experiment, the Optimizely SDK returns default values for its APIs. This would be roughly the equivalent of if you turned off all your feature flags and experiments and the values of any feature variables were left undefined. To prepare for these rare emergency situations, you can do two things. First, save a fallback data file. At a regular interval of your choosing, save the state of your JSON data file in a database or local store of your application. That way, when Optimizely's CDN goes down, you can still load a slightly outdated data file and you won't have to use default values. Another fallback option is to upload the data file from Optimizely to a CDN of your own. That way, if Optimizely's CDN goes down, your application has no direct reliance on Optimizely's infrastructure and can still operate normally. Secondly, it's a good idea to write defensive code, especially for feature variables. Since feature variables evaluate to undefined if Optimizely goes down, you should always check if a feature is enabled before evaluating its associated feature variables. And also provide smart defaults when those variables are undefined. In summary, when Optimizely goes down, your application stays running but it's a best practice to save a fallback data file and code defensively to be prepared for the worst. Thanks for watching.